Greetings to all melanated people all around the world. It's really a joy. It's a blessing. It's a pleasure. It's truly an honor to be out here in nature and to be well connected with the eater. You know, I'm sitting right here. I'm bare feet, not wearing any shoe, as you can see. You know, um, so I'm well connected bringing this message of liberation to you. And as I continue to bring these messages to you, my encouragement to you is to put what has been said to work in your life and prove for yourself that the Creator is within you. So, for those of you who might be new to my channel, if you're new and you're listening to me, my teaching is this. It is that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. That the Bible is not literal, neither is it secular history. And that the Bible is written symbolically. And that is only when we come to understand this truth that we will free ourselves from mental slavery. Okay, so with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to speak to you concerning finding your life purpose and knowing why you are here and what you are here for. Okay? Now, when you come to discover your higher self or your true self, you come to realize that you are the living book. You are the living Bible. And that the written Bible is pointing you towards your own biography. It is teaching you how to discover your true identity. So it must become you, the living book, interpreting the written book. Now I'm going to show you that, uh, what I would have just said there in the Bible, in Luke 4, 18. And you can read Luke 4, chapter 4, verses 18, right down to, uh, to the end, which I think is verses 22. And I'm just going to summarize it for you. Okay, now what it is teaching you that when you come into your Christ self, your true self, because whenever the Bible speaks about Jesus Christ, if you have any, any thinking in your mind that Jesus Christ is a man who existed 2,000 years ago, then you have the wrong God. Jesus Christ is the man or woman in whom God awakes, or the man or woman who will come to their higher self, which is basically telling you that when you come to the highest uh, level of consciousness, You've come to your Christ energy, okay? And you've come, come to your true self-realization. Now, it is said in Luke 4, 18, that the Christ would have taken the book and opened the written book and declare that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. It is speaking about you, my brothers and my sisters, that when you come, to discover your true self, you realize that the Spirit of God is that creative power or energy that is in you. And when you discover that it's this creative energy in you, you will also come to realize that you were sent to bring a message to the poor, to help those in this world who get trapped in the matrix and get trapped in the way of, the, of thinking like the world. Who do not realize that they were born rich, that you will be able to bring a message to them to break poverty. So it says that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because you have anointed me to bring the true gospel to the poor and to bring healing to the broken hearted. Now, there are many who are broken hearted because of all the problems and situations that they are facing each and every day, not knowing that God is the higher self, not knowing that God and man are one, not knowing that they can achieve whatever they want to achieve in this life if they will only understand the law of mentalism, that everything is, is false mental, everything was false a thought. And that God is your own human imagination. Also, when you come to realize who you are and your true life purpose, 
you also realize that you've been sent to preach deliverance to the captive. So you must be bringing a message that will set people free. You must be bringing a message that will loose people from all of the bonds or bondages that they've been bound by, by society or what the world would have imposed upon them innocently okay and also to bring freedom to them that are bruised and sight to them that are blind now many are blind spiritually not physically but spiritually and so you must bring a message that would enlighten a message that will bring insight. A message that will have people to think for themselves. A message that will help you to do some self-seeking and some self-searching. A message that would make you want to go and look at the Bible for yourself and read it over and over again and make sense of it. A message that will free you from fear. A message that will free you from economic slavery. A message that will free you from mental slavery. A message that will free you from religious slavery. Because this message that is teaching you that the Bible just is the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically will bring you to come to realize your own identity, your true spirituality, your journey in this life from humanity to divinity. And you will be able to say, this day, the scripture is fulfilled in your ears. Because in Luke 4 and 18, it is basically teach, well, from 18 right on to 20, verses 22, it is teaching you the story of your life. It is teaching you that the Bible is your biography. And now one day you will take it in your hand. And you say this day this scripture is fulfilling your ears. This day. This entire book. Is fulfilled in your ears. When you begin to open your mouth. And speak to those who would listen to you. And those who would resonate with the message. That you are bringing to them. Because you would have discovered. That you are the living book interpreting the written book. So, my brother and my sisters, your real life purpose is to discover your true self, is to discover your higher self. It's for you to discover that the book of life is actually your life. And the book of life that has been written must correspond with your life. And each one reveals the other. So, my brother and my sisters, that's the reason why I always teach you to look to yourself, to look within. For the Bible says that you must seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things must be added and would be added unto you. And Luke 17 21 tells you that the kingdom of God is within you. That's the reason why, my brother and my sisters, I always point you to look within yourself, not to believe in a God outside of yourself. Not to believe in a God in the sky, but believe the, in the God that is within you. So, your real true life purpose is to discover who you are. Discover your higher self. Come, in, come to your Christ energy and realize that you can create your reality consciously. So, that means said, my brother and my sister, I want to encourage you to continue to support this work by supporting my ebooks. And for those of you who want, to further yourself in this this kind of knowledge. You can also join me on Patreon and you can donate 50 or more dollars and I will get in touch with you and you'll get my contact number and I'll be able to explain more of these things to you more clearly and to help you until you can actually manifest your reality consciously and, and able to teach this wisdom and also to others. So with that being said, I want to give you this sign, the sign of enlightenment, the sign of your true awakening. 
the sign of mighty 622 I say if you I be, if you I be single your whole body will be full of light and my brother and my sisters when you discover this true awakening you will realize it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and you will come to experience the dawning of a new day and you will come to also realize that without the sun there is no life and there is no light and without the human imagination there isn't anything made that was made and all things that was made in this world was false imagine it was false at all and then you would realize that the human imagination parallels the sun and that we are the people of the sun therefore we have to get more in touch with nature and our true mind power so with that being said i want to say peace love you i'm out